ball bigger. Alright, this one's pretty obvious, but if you don't know how, I guess this is how you do it. So you're going to take your tin foil and you're going to put the ball inside of there. And you're just going to wrap some tin foil around it, like, like so. And you're going to crush it a little bit with your hands. And after you got your nice shape, like something like this, you hit it. And once your full ball looks like that, like flat, you'll like be done. You ever see those perfect tin foil balls? This is how they do it. They take like something to like mash it and they just hit it. With like, you can use the bottom of a marker if it doesn't have that uh, groove on the inside. And you can even use the back of a colored pencil. Not those, like, circled ones, but those ones that you, like, that have, like, the flat back. You can use those ones. Hear that tap? That's, like, what you want to hear. And making a tin foil ball is just making a regular tin foil ball is very similar. Sim similar. You obviously crush the thing into a circle. You take a decently big square of tin foil and you crush it into a ball. And technically, you're done. Um, but then you have to hit it with your pen and a whole lot of things. It takes a lot of patience, but that means you're almost done. It's like this. It, it's like almost done. I have a better tin foil ball, but pretty sure the dog ate it, so. I have a tin foil ball that's all done. Downstairs and it's actually really hard when you're done. This weighs about Nothing. It's maybe a pound. Not even a pound, maybe. You know, my finger can hold it by itself. So I'm trying to. If it wouldn't fall. Okay, now this is actually starting to make me angry. See? I'm gonna try to make a groove in there. 
like my finger. So it stables better. No. It's another thing you can do, just flatten it out. But anyways, probably don't do that part way and I will see you guys later.